Well, let's do a little run through of a new sequencer from PM Foundations it's called Synthola. It's for Eurorack. It's a dual panel, one for controls, one for CV. There's also uh, an additional panel available. So instead of the eight, gives you another eight for 16 total steps. We'll do a quick run through of, of how it works. We're currently hooked up to a PM Foundations 3080 VCO and the second one, which we'll bring in later, using a PM Foundations envelope generator and a PM Foundations dual VCA. I thought I'd see how things work with the whole suite of products. Uh, the only other two things we're using for this is um, an NW2S buffered malt and a Latic M171 mixer. So let's get uh, fooling around with it and see what's on this thing. Front panel controls on the, on the control piece are the start stop, the return to zero, step forward, step back buttons, there is a um, clock out, CV out, clock in, and a start trigger. It's also a gate and a trigger out. Let's run it again. Speed that up a little bit. The other thing we have is a glide, which is actually very handy. You can hear it come in. Where this is really good is if you want to use this as an envelope generator or an LFO for modulation or some kind of function generator, this is handy to smooth out the waveform having the uh, slew. Let's turn that back down again. Each one of the white buttons on here will skip the, uh, skip, not exactly skip, but it turns off the gate. The CV still comes out, but it turns off the gate, so let's try that. So that's how that works. And these knobs are for the CV. Right now we're using the internal clock. And the CV, I'll show you, I'll probably screw up the sequence because I don't have a quantizer hooked up. You could hook up a quantizer, but we'll see if we can get it back in tune once we're out again. Close enough. So let's talk about the uh, the three LEDs here and the last three uh, white buttons here. So we'll just stop it for a second. Actually, let's run that again. So this high low it uh, just uh, changes the output uh, voltage in one large unit. We're back up again. Now the do and the at, let's talk about that. What this does is using at, you can go to one of the steps and then do decides what you're going to do at that particular step. You have four choices. You have a, um, you can stop. So let's have a listen to that. Again, handy if you want to use it as a, uh, as an envelope generator for modulation or press it again and you can go forward but it will also loop or you can go back and forth oops sorry hit the wrong button that's uh, you can probably see the third LED there Final choice is uh, is random when they're all three are on. So 
let's turn everything off. So the other thing we uh, we did is we do have this the uh, the second VCO on. So I'll turn it up now. It's an octave apart. Uh, Detune to get that nice thick sound. One thing I did do was I hooked up the um, the CV out also to the pulse width modulation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the first one off and crank up the pulse width modulation all the way. So now you get a little bit of kind of rhythm going because the pulse width on this it actually goes to nothing and then back up again. Let's bring in the other one. We can have almost like an accent. Kind of cool. And that's it. The uh, the new PM Foundations Synthola sequencer for Eurorack.